Will China forgive John Cena? The Hollywood star gave an impassioned apology to the Chinese people on Tuesday via Weibo, and he spoke in Mandarin. Zena says he is very, very sorry for calling Taiwan a country during a promotional interview for the latest film in the Fast and Furious franchise. Zena, who is starring in the F9, claims he misspoke, but the incident shows how mindful Hollywood and businesses have become about political sensitivities in China. Our correspondent Will Redfully is following this live for us from Taipei. Uh, Will, it, it, it certainly did sound groveling the way he made this apology, trying to backtrack that statement. Linda, I'm very, 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 very sorry that I have to talk about this again. <laughs> but I guess what? It's gonna, I'm going to have to talk about it again and again and again. You know, yes, yeah, yeah. you mentioned Hollywood. Uh, big business, they are more mindful, but it's not because they've had some sort of epiphany. It's because China means business when it comes to issues like Taiwan and Hong Kong and Tibet, these red line issues. And what John Cena did, although for most outside observers in the West, it would appear to be an innocent mistake. He's speaking in Mandarin, not his first language. And he was talking to a broadcaster here in Taiwan saying, this is the first country where you can watch F9 and it could have just been a lost in translation kind of thing, although Cena has been studying Mandarin for a couple of years, but because he used the word country, that has blown up. He has 600,000 followers on Weibo, which is China's main social media platform. 7,000 responses to that, as some have said, groveling apology, where people are saying he didn't go far enough because they want him to actually come on in Mandarin and say, Taiwan is a part of China. Now here in Taiwan, they don't necessarily feel that way. This island of 23 million has been governing itself for more than 70 years since China's civil war ended. But over in Beijing, they view this as a renegade province that they could take back at any time. And any suggestion to the contrary can get businesses and Hollywood stars and uh, pretty much anybody in a whole heck of a lot of trouble. You think about um, the airlines back in 2018, AA, Delta, United, they risked sanctions because they had Taiwan uh, on, on a map as, as a country. And that's, of course, China's one of the biggest air travel markets. It's also one of Hollywood's biggest international markets. The most important, as a matter of fact, Linda, because uh, F9 made $136 million over the weekend just in China. Money talks. And that's why you saw this apology from John Cena. Money talks indeed, as we know. Will Ripley in Taipei. Good to have you on the case, thanks.